Uh, last night we introduced you to one of the lesser known yet more effective weapons in the U.S. Army's arsenal. It's called HIMARS or High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. Essentially it's computer guided long range artillery that's mobile. So tonight we show you how the Army and the Air Force put the joint base in JBLM working together to make HIMARS a weapon on demand anywhere in the world. It's one of the newer faces of warfare. Here at the Yakima Training Center, the 17th Brigade Thunderbolts are working with state-of-the-art weaponry. While the front lines are historically reserved for troops and tanks or Humvees, the M142 HIMARS hang back, ready to clear a path. Everyone's a kid at heart. Uh, everyone remembers the model rockets that they saw and, and just that, that moment of amazement. And every time I shoot, I'm still that little kid. First Sergeant Nicholas Klein is yeah. filled with memories, some better than others. He's seen combat twice in Fallujah, Iraq, and has fired this weapon hundreds of times. Just uh, a lot of ISIS targets and stuff like that. The, the building's known to be used by ISIS. It can strike 50 miles away. Fire mission. And with its computer guided rockets, the HIMARS can open a lot of doors for troops trying to gain ground, especially at mid range. If a target needs to be neutralized in the middle of the night, we can, we can do it uh, to the, the specific bedroom or the specific car that they're driving. So, where things get interesting is when the Army and the Air Force combine forces. When you take the firepower of the HIMARS and you put it on a C 17, well, then you have a weapon you can quickly deploy right to the enemy's doorstep. You could fly that into a remote location and then fire 350 kilometers from there. That, that's a really, that's a strategic capability that the majority of armies in the world, they don't have. When you share a base with the 62nd Airlift Wing, today the 4th Squadron's on deck, the C-17 becomes a tactical taxi of sorts. The joint effort is called High Rain, or High Mars Rapid Infiltration. It's almost like going camping, right? So you, you take all your stuff, you load it, and you load it in your van, and then you drive away, and then we set up somewhere, and then you get back on and you drive away. It's it's similar to that in concept and a gross oversimplification. 101 and 202. Oh, MGs, MGs. Negative. Yeah. Four, five. A high rain mission might take weeks to plan once a target is chosen. Before any flight, it's time to make weight. Every soldier hitching a ride steps on a scale with all their gear. Every pound is accounted for. Then off to the ITD to saddle up. Let's go! And move out. With two HIMARS vehicles, it's a tight squeeze. During a real high rain mission, they would back in, ready to race off the plane as soon as the cargo bay door opened. It would look like this. Both crews would quickly set up, then fire their rockets at the target, race back onto the plane and hightail it out of hostile territory before the enemy had a chance to retaliate. Warfare, just like uh, World War II movies, it's probably not gonna look like that anymore. It might look like a lot of guys sitting behind computer screens. Anytime we can, we can put something with GPS or precision guided capability any anywhere in the world, um, it it really serves as a as a as a deterrent. The projection of power, something he says, is invaluable. Always prepare to deploy and win our nation's uh, our nation's battles, and whenever the nation should call. <laughs> Cool stuff there. A uh, big thank you to the Thunderbolt Brigade and the 62nd Air Wing for giving us a peek at your world, letting us share that. And thank you to anybody who has ever served and those serving now. And a huge thank you as well to Captain Jeff Coat uh, <laughs> with the Army, who, after the two-day shoot, answered about 50 emails sure. uh, that had all these follow-up questions. Right, of course. all the details. Yes, and we do have uh, much more posted on our website. You can text the keyword ROCKET to 206-448-4545. We will send you a direct link. Really interesting look. That thank was you, a lot Greg. of fun. Thanks, yeah. Greg. Mm -hmm.